I'm Simon Olsen of the Elephant Restaurant in Torquay. I'm going to make a blueberry ketchup using the new Robo Cook. Simple ingredients. I've got a blueberry puree. A little bit of water to let that down. You can use stock syrup if you're going to make this a sweet one. A little bit of raspberry vinegar to give it a bit of bite. And we're going to set that at 100 degrees to bring to a boil in the machine. So 100 degrees, half speed, so about 1000 RPM. Once it gets to about 80 degrees, I'm going to add the agar agar and this will thicken it. So temperature range, we can go from 20 degrees all the way up to 140 degrees. So different recipes, I made pata fruit in here. Uh, we've tempered chocolate going up and down in the temperatures. Um, we also make our jams and our coolies all the way through here, mainly due to the temperature being able to go above 100 and it's in a sealed lid that we can close off so there's nothing spitting dangerous coming at me. So we're up to 80 degrees now. I'm going to turn the speed down. I'm going to add my agar agar. So agar in and just take it back up to speed and allow it to get to 100 degrees. I'm just going to let it go for a few moments just to cook the agar out. Once this is cooked, I'm going to allow it to set in the fridge and then I'll re-blend it to make a fluid gel, which will be finalised with my blueberry ketchup. So on the plate we've got some of our blueberry ketchup, uh, smoked blueberries, and we've got some pickled smeji mushrooms. We're just going to be finishing it with a little bit of fresh pine. It's got a nice acidic taste to it, a bit like a sorrel. chickweed. So this is our beetroot and apple tartar tan. A little bit of frozen goat cheese. Blueberry ketchup, beetroot and apple tartar tan.